Fox Walking with Miss Gordon. Hi, Explorers! Miss Gordon here. I am going to teach you guys a skill that we're going to be using as we do our virtual classroom together. And this skill is called Fox Walking. Some of you may have done it already in your classroom. Some of you may have just heard me maybe use the term. But I want to make sure we all understand what Fox Walking is and what it looks like. So, um, you can do this outside or you can do it inside. Uh, but wherever you choose to do it, it is a way to move through your space silently. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take off my shoes so that you can really see my feet and how I'm moving them in a very specific way. Oh. off my shoes and my socks. Whoa, the ground feels so nice and soft. Woo! All right. This is how fox walking works. Okay, so that's what it looks like. What did you notice? Hopefully, you noticed that I bent my knees when I started. I kind of put my hands out for balance. And I picked up one foot at a time. And when I placed it down, I touched my toe first to the ground. And then I went down to the outside of my foot and then down onto my heel. Try that again. So again, knees are bent, toes touch the ground first, then to the outside of the foot, and then down to the heel. And then you can put all your weight on it. If you're doing fox walking correctly, you should be able to stop your fox walk at any point in time. So for example, I have a friend that was fox walking in the woods out to his sit spot which I'm going to teach you guys about later. And on the way out, he saw a deer. And so he stopped his fox walk just like this. And it, he, he ended up spending 30 minutes to take one step so that he could watch that deer. And that deer had no idea he was there because he was silent and he was moving so slowly know that you don't have to go barefoot to fox walk you can also use shoes but i challenge you to try it at home <laughs> 